Welcome, welcome back to the public update preview. And we're here with Recon playing as the Roos here in the color blue. His opponent today is going to be Taro Gangs, spawning on the left-hand side of the map, playing as the Abbasid Dynasty. Now, this is a matchup that we've seen quite a bit. Roos versus Abbasid. And before this pop, it used to be quite heavily favored towards the Roos. Especially with their forward ball play. That's something that we used to see quite often. You know, heavy feudal age pressure onto the Abbasid. And there wasn't a lot they could do about it, really. It used to be one of the most favored matchups for the Roos. So, with all these big changes happening to both of these civilizations, we're, we're going to have to see how this matchup now fares against each other. Obviously, the Abbasid having all four of their wings changed. Whereas the Roos... They've only had their Kremlin changed. Uh, well, they, they've had the High Trade House change a little bit as well. The deer spawn a little bit faster. And, and I mean, I say a little bit, it, it's quite significant. But uh, Recon here going for a Dark Age Wooden Fortress. Interesting to see. This isn't something I've seen a lot with the Roos. I, I'm honestly quite surprised by this. Dark Age Wooden Fortress there. Going very heavy on the wood still. Is he looking to go for multiple hunting cabins possibly? That could be the case, but we do see Recon for the time being doesn't even have one hunting cabin down. And he's only opened up with the one scout. This is one crazy build order out of him. And there we finally do see that hunting cabin coming down there. So it, it, we've got to be seeing more of these, right? I mean, why else would you be investing 175 wood the, at this stage of the game for a wooden fortress if you're not, not going heavy wood chopping in the Dark Age? And I mean, you, you've got some nice spots around here. Two forward wood lines here for Recon. Taro Gangs on the other hand of the on, on the other side of the map. He's got some weird wood lines here. Have a look at that. That is a wood line that we don't see very often. Both of them sort of like quite long instead of being more roundish. But we do see House of Wisdom being dropped for him behind the town center. Also going out into the berries. Tower Gang's also going for that early wheelbarrow as well. That we do see the Abbasid go for quite commonly. And there it is, the House of Wisdom. I wonder what age up we'll be seeing this time. Because we've been seeing a lot of culture wing. People love their fast castles with this uh, with this build. Because the, the culture wing gives you the preservation of knowledge, which also reduces your age up cost. So it means you can fast castle really, really effectively with this civilization now. But maybe we see a different one. Maybe we see the military wing. I'd love to see the military one, uh, wing being used in age one. I mean, getting that boot camp in uh, in age two is super, super nice, as well as you get the uh, the two spearmen and one archer as soon as you age up. But honestly, I don't think it's worth getting this uh, age up unless you're playing against like the Mongols. But we'll have to see. I'm sure there's plenty of build orders to discover here with the Abbasid. Recon on the other side of the map is expanding out with these hunting cabins and we can see how much gold he's gathering there. 23, 27. And we've got another one coming down here as well. Recon still on the one scout though, which means he's not going to have that much bounty. We'll take, a, we'll take a look in over here at Taro. We can see he uh, he's only on the one scout as well. So Recon should be able to get... A decent amount of bounty, but usually we see the roots on three scouts and they just clean up all the bounty. So that does mean his hunting cabins might not be making as much as they would if you if you opened up with three scouts. But Taro going to be aging up now with the economic wing. Okay, so we're back back to the Abbasid roots. But trust me, the the economic wing is not like it used to be because we got new technology. Fertile cres Crescent. And this reduces the, the cost of en ec any economic building and houses by 25%. Which is pretty crazy, because that now means your town centers cost less. And the Abbasids still get their uh, their fresh foodstuffs, which is now inside of the town center. Not as good as it, as it once was. It used to be 50% discount, now it's only 35 but it's still a great technology. And at the same time, you can grab Fertile Crescent. You know, town center booming is going to be absolutely crazy. And uh, uh, honest, like if Tara isn't going for another town center here, he's just going to be doing something wrong. And yeah, there it is. Moving out now onto the gold. Recon on the, other, on the other side of the map is going to be going for the Golden Gate. Unfortunately, no Kremlin today. And honestly, a Kremlin here 
It could have been pretty huge. I mean, look, you got two forward stone mines here for Taro. A Kremlin here would be absolutely huge. And there was a build order that I was actually practicing yesterday with, uh, with a good friend called Konoki. You may have heard of him before. And it's basically where I built a Kremlin in base, called the militia, and brought two villagers to build a forward uh, wooden fortress. It's basically like a Mongol tower rush. But instead of having like, you know, four spearmen, you have six of these mil uh, militia forward with your, your two villagers building this wooden fortress. So I'm, I might do a little video on that. I'll see, I'll see. But it, it's a pretty nice build order. But Recon obviously did open up with that wooden fortress and all of these hunting cabins, which is bringing him in a lot of gold. But it means he can't really put on that, that early pressure with the, the Kremlin. As the age up is significantly delayed. Usually we'll be seeing the roots up way before the Abbasid. But not going to be the case. But I like this build out of Recon. It's very uh, very different. We can see going for some heavy walls here. Walling everything up. Going very heavy on the hunting cabins. And it looks like Recon's going to be going for a second town center as well. But we already see here. Taro's got his second town center already underway. He's got Fertile Crescent in. He's got his uh, fresh food stuff. So we can see here the cost of the villagers. Only 32 food, which is absolutely huge. And it looks like Taro's going to be going for a third town center as well. We see he's, he's got enough stone for it. <laughs> we just see how early this third town center is coming up. It's crazy, crazy stuff. And you, you got to remember, like, I'm sure you can get this timing with the Chinese and their Song Dynasty. But you're still paying 50 food for each villager with the Chinese. Whereas this, you're paying 32 food for each villager. It, it's pretty huge. So how much are you paying for? So it's like, it's like a 96 food. So you're effectively just paying for two town centers worth of villagers, but you're getting three. Which is, which is pretty huge. And we're on the map Altai here, which means, you know, feudal pressures are a little bit harder. You, you can wall this up a lot more easily. Wall up these little side bits as well. Recon second town center. Now coming down. Only six villagers on that town center. Recon. And Taro sitting on the same amount of villagers for the time being. Recon also moving out now onto the deer. We also see a stable coming down. So look, just looks like he wants to put on a little bit of feudal pressure here. With a couple knights I would expect. You know, try and push Tara off these berries. Just keep idling a little bit here and there. Especially when he's moving out here onto the deer. But three town centers up for Taro. Not producing out of this one quite yet. He needs to get a couple uh, couple villages in the queue there. But it looks like it's going to be three town centers. And on honestly, I, we could see four town centers out of this. I mean, look, we're at the eight minute mark. And we've got three town centers down. You know, we got eco upgrades coming in now as well. We've already got wheelbarrow. We're getting super cheap villagers. This build is feeling so good for the Abbasid, especially on this uh, enclosed map. But Recon on the other side, he's just, he's just walling everything. He's going full turtle here and I'm kind of surprised by it. Maybe he's expecting a fast castle build out of the Abbasid because that's what we've been mainly seeing. People experimenting with the culture wing. So, I mean, and, and I guess this would be the the correct sort of response to a fast castle build. You know, sort of turtle up a little bit. Just so you can, you've got a nice funnel here. Town centers at the front as well. But now we have knights coming out and triple archery range coming down. So I think Recon's realized what's going on here. Taro going for that super, super omega boom with these cheap villagers. And he's like, okay, we, we need to do something about this. We need to put on that, that age two pressure. We can't let him get to Castle Age here. But speaking of Castle Age, that looks like a macro for Castle Age to me. That that definitely looks like a macro to Castle Age. And I mean, it's going to be pretty quick as well. Recon at the moment only got two knights out. He is double producing. And he's also got a couple archers on the way. But how much damage is he going to be able to put on here in the, uh, the Feudal Age? Because Taro is not that far away from Castle Age. And if we see him go up with the military wing, which it, it could be a close one between the military wing or the culture wing. But if Taro decides to go up with the military wing, you know, that's boot camp and composite bows you can grab. And you also gr get the two camel riders upon age up, which could be pretty huge. I mean, we see what Recon's making right now. He's going archers and knights. Camel riders destroy... Well, they destroy the knights and they do somewhat well up against the archers. 
We also see a spe spearman coming out of tower as well. Another barracks coming down for him. Tower only a couple hundred food away from that age up. We'll flip this over to see how many villagers he's got on what resource. But it looks like Recon's looking to push forwards now. He's got eight archers. Four knights right there. Now the age up coming in from Tara. It is going to be the military wing. And I love this choice right here. I mean, sure, the culture wing's great. And you get the preservation of knowledge and whatever. But the military wing feels so nice to go to Castle Age with. The, the two camel riders is honestly so nice. In so many scenarios against so many different civilizations, it's nice. You know, like uh, the Delhi. If you go for a fast castle build into military wing, you got the, you get the two camel riders and you just can immediately send them out to these sacred sites and, and start denying that gold from them. I mean, it, the military wing just feels so much nicer now. But we can see Recon. Really looking to build up this mass right here. Siege Engineering coming in for him. So it looks like he's going to be putting on the pressure here very, very heavily. I'm sure we'll be seeing a ram coming down from him. We see his macroing for the rams. As well as the archers. But lots of production drop down for Tara now. He's got an archery range out as well. Maybe looking to go into camel archers or possibly even some crossbow. But three barracks are down. Phalanx coming in as well. So I wouldn't be surprised to see lots of metal arms being uh, produced here as well. I mean, you get camel riders, spearmen, and metal arms. It crushes absolutely everything that Recon's got here. But Recon now moving in with his first battering ram. Second one being dropped down now as well. Blacksmith grabbing the upgrades as well. I know the mesh coming in. Fitted leather work up next. And we're 11 seconds away from this age up. And we'll see the, the two camel riders popping out immediately. And we already see the villager advantage that Tara has got here. You know, he's almost 10 villagers up. And he's been paying a lot less for these villagers as well. And there it is. And there it is. Camel riders and men at arms immediately in the queue. No veterancy upgrade coming in quite yet. But not priority. And there we do see the camel riders are out as well. But Recon's putting some pressure here onto the, the main town center, which does have more health than the other town centers. We see 2,500 for these, 7,000 for this town center. And now boot camp's coming in, giving plus 15% to all infantry. Going to be really, really helpful there. We see plus 23 on the men at arms, plus 14 there for the spearmen, and camel archers out as well. And you got to remember, these camels give a debuff to these knights. Tara needs to be careful, though. He, he might be losing his town center over here. And it looks like Tara's wanting to push out now. Camel Riders engaging here onto the Knights. And we just see how much damage they're able to do with the Spearmen here as well. With their Phalanx upgrade, they're able to hit behind the Camel Riders. Villager's going to be pulled here to take out the Rams. Man at Arms in here, able to tank up against these Archers so well. While these Villagers able to take out the Rams. But the Town Center might, might get taken out here. Needs to be careful. Needs to get some Villagers here to repair that up. Villager's just going to be standing about. Not doing a lot right there. But we just see the men at arms able to power through the shots from the archers right there. And Recon going to have to fall back. Getting in a, a couple charges here and there. But we can just see, just get immediately taken out. The Phalanx upgrade, such a key upgrade there for the Abbasid. No veterancy upgrades in yet for that. We do actually see them coming through. Couple nice charges coming through there for Recon. But still, Camel archers are here. We see the debuff on these knights. Minus four attack right there. And Recon might be looking in some trouble here. He's nowhere near an age up for himself. He's falling behind the villagers. He's an age behind now. And his army not looking the greatest right here. These are expensive units that Recon's losing. Archers are cheap. Knights are not. And Recon's been completely pushed back now. Going to be massing up in the base. And we see complete walls coming up for him. Just a little bit of a gap right here. And Tara should be able to get through. Uh, we do actually see a... Oh, a villager was here. Where did that... I swear that villager was not there. But we see he gets up the wall. Needs to, needs to cancel these little uh, little post bits. He, get, he gets it up anyway, though. For those wondering, if uh, you can actually cancel these without them uh, destroying the wall. But if you leave them up and they're, like, incomplete, the enemy can burn down this little section... And it will take out the whole wall with it. 
So that's what usually why we see uh, players cancelling it. But Recon, looking for the age up now. He's got enough resources. What is it going to be, though? It's going to be the Abbey of the Trinity. We see no relics have been picked up quite yet for uh, Taro. There it is, the Abbey of the Trinity. Six villagers on that landmark. More being, more being pulled now as well. But Taro is very happy about this. I mean, he's up on villagers. He's an age ahead. And now we see villagers coming forwards. Where is he going with this? Going to be chopping some wood over here. Is he, is he completely out of wood? He's still got wood over here. Interesting to see. Interesting. We've also got agriculture coming in. Giving plus 15% to all farms. I mean, despite Tara not having any farms down. <laughs> yeah, but, you know, it's always a nice upgrade to have. Especially when you're floating this much gold. You might as well get it while you remember. But Tara is going to have to go into farms soon. Because we can see... He's completely out of food over here. He's going to be moving out to this little deer patch, but, you know, there's only three deer here. Not not going to be a whole lot. But Tara looking to go into rams of his own now. Definitely interesting to see. Still going for mass spearmen plus uh, men at arm with a few camels mixed in there as well. More archery rangers being dropped down as well as a barracks. But Recon over here. He's up to the next stage now. He's grabbing his upgrades for his archers and his knights. But he's going to need to get out some crossbowmen as well to deal with this. And we see Tara's one step ahead here. He's already grabbing himself a mangonel. It's going to be put... It's going to put Recon in a very tough spot here. I mean, going mass knights up against the uh, the Abbasid is, is never something you feel great about doing. I mean, they've got phalanx upgrades on their spearmen. They've got camels giving a debuff. So it, it never feels pretty. It never feels pretty. First relic in for recon. Looks like he's going to go grab a second one now as well. Most relics spawning on the right-hand side of the map here. With just mass production coming out of Taro right now. Looks like he's wanting to go all in Castle Age right here. Recon looking to pick up that relic. Going to be uh, intercepted by a huge army though. <laughs> Manganel even getting in the action right there. And now villagers moving forward. 26 of them here going for an outpost. Uh, do you need 26 villagers for this one outpost? <laughs> okay. Spearman here. Focusing down those knights. Manganel doesn't want to get caught off guard right here. But Tara looking to start to burn down this gate. And despite the ruse having these amazing walls up against this many uh, units. And the villagers moving in now as well. Taro going all in here. But yeah, he's really going all in. Tw bringing 26 villagers to burn down buildings seems like a bit of a interesting decision. But we see Tara is floating quite a bit of stone right now. So might be looking to burn down these buildings so we can drop down a keep right here, which would be pretty huge. And Recon there, sniping out that man. Now doing a great job right there. And there we go. The keep is coming down. Villagers still burning down that archery range for the time being. But Tara is through to the base of Recon. And now Recon is going to be put under a little bit of pressure. We see villagers idling themselves inside of that town centre. And villagers now burning down the town centre. Oh, we've got more villagers being pulled. Taro. He's got 62 villagers right here. That's that's over half of his economy right here. Building a keep and burning down town centres. What is going on? Is this a bit of an overextension from, from Taro though? I mean, we see Recon is holding on here. He's got, he's got some knights out. Wallolo going to be coming through for him. Taro going to be retreating out of that. Archers here, able to kill quite a few villagers. And that town center does get taken out by the uh, the 26 villagers over here. And more villagers for Taro going down. But at the same point, Recon's losing villagers as well. He's down to 67 now. And more of them are being focused down here and being idled. <laughs> Recon actually killing a few of them here as well. But like, most of Taro's economy right now is on the front line here, burning stuff down. What is going What is going on here? And the thing is, Tara's not really falling that far behind. We see he's still got double the amount of villagers that Recon has. Recon just losing so many of them here. And, and the thing is, Tara is on three town centers. He can just keep on producing them at such a cheap cost as well. I'm, I'm still not sure how I feel about this many villagers being pulled here. We see they're now burning down houses. We got uh, our, uh, Springled emplacement through on this keep. And it looks like Recon is able to hold, but question is, how long is it going to be till this next 
This next wave comes through, so we see more villagers being pulled here. What is going on here? Taro just going... He's using these as like, um... You know, just, just like a, a meat shield here. Ram's taking out the farms now as well. Taro not getting any more stone for another keep, which is honestly quite surprising. But Recon now pulling the villagers, trying to take out the ram. More units coming through. Taro still going very heavy here on the meta arms. We have a trebuchet in the queue for Recon now. And there it is. It comes out of that siege workshop. Going to be focusing down the keep, I'd expect. And what else would it be? What else would it be there for? Taro needs to be careful, though. Doesn't want to lose it to these meta arms. Or Recon needs to be careful of Taro. And we've got meta arms and crossbows coming out of uh, Recon now as well. So it looks like he's going to be able to hold on here. But the mass still growing here for Taro. Recon's still behind by 50 villagers, and he's only on the one town center now. Not looking too good for Recon right here. Veterancy upgrades coming in for Horsemen. For Taro. We got more villagers here as well. Going heavy on the stone here. So it looks like he wants to going he wants to go for another keep. And honestly, a keep right here would be that that would be game ending right there. Still lots of production coming out of Taro. Going for a very heavy farm transition at the, uh, the same point. We see he's running a little bit low on the food. He's got 40 villagers right now on this one stone outcropping. Look at that. 30, 38 villagers. Uh, not, all, not, not even all of them are mining. Some of them are just standing about. But that keep from, uh, that, well, the keep from Tarot might be under a little bit of pressure here. Might want to pull a, a few villagers here to try and repair that up. Uh, did Taro just sell all of his stone? Okay, we... Uh, he doesn't have enough stone in the bank to drop a keep. So I'm not sure what he's doing with these villagers here. He's got a mangonel and, a, and another ram coming down as well. That keep is going to be under a lot of pressure. And we see m more vi more villagers... Be really? More? Vi more? More of them? What is going on here? Where are, where are these villagers going? Oh no, are they, are they all going to get... Is Taro going for like an all-in here? Okay, well this this could be a comeback for Recon right here if this if this doesn't work out. Recon going for a keep of his own here. 18 villagers being pulled for that. But we see Taro here, 67 villagers. Unfortunately, no Manganel out for Recon. And Taro, it looks like he's just going to be wanting to burn down the keep here with, that, with those villagers. Look at them go. That keep, that keep doesn't stand a chance right there. And we see more than all oh, the villagers. They're all being pulled. Taro going for an all-in here. I mean, does he need to? P probably not. He probably does not need to do this. This is probably a huge mistake right here. The keep gets up, but it's going to get taken down immediately. No boiling oil through either to take out these villagers. And it's going to get taken out pretty much immediately right there. More villagers making their way on to the battlefield. Taro, he's got nothing in the bank, though. If Recon can hold this, he'll be looking in a great position. But the question is, can he? I mean, the Manganel here is pushing away these crossbowmen. Villagers here taking out the production. And we've got men at arms chasing down Recon's villagers. Still all three landmarks up for Recon, though. Ram's going to start to focus down the uh, the landmarks, I'd expect. But we see all the villagers here. I've never seen anything like this. I mean, it makes sense to, to a point. Um... You know, using villagers like this, but to this extreme, I'm not sure if that's a great idea. We see he's got three villagers still left on the wood, but the rest of them here focusing down this town center right here. And there it is, GG gets called. A recon gonna be tapping out. What a crazy game that was. The power of the economic wing coming through for the Abbasid dynasty right there. If you, if you did enjoy this game, please do feel free to leave a like, because I think that was a pretty crazy game. But yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next game.